Welcome everyone to this edition of the Yoga Amazing Video Podcast. I am Chaz, I'm your host, and welcome back. Now this episode is brought to us by Squarespace.com. Now they are the fast and easy way to create and manage a high quality website or blog. Now if you want to publish or create your own content, this is definitely the way to do it because you can get a free trial and 30% off your new account for three months. So remember, go to squarespace.com and enter the coupon code YOGA6. Kind of like what I do here with the Yoga Amazing. So if you've got your own business like I've got going on here, maybe it's not a yoga podcast, but you need to create a blog or a website and you don't have the savvy of, of buying the web packages, which can be really expensive, upwards of $500 to $1,000, or you don't know how to create a blog using different packages, go to squarespace.com because they are there to help you because they have so many different templates, it's easy to use, and it's a great product that will help you launch maybe your own personal blog or maybe it's something for your company, okay? I'm just trying to bring you some stuff here that's going to help you if you're looking to venture out into that world. So remember, go to squarespace.com and enter in the, uh, the promo code YOGA6. All right, do that, as always say, after class. Now let's get right into this week's episode. Uh, question and this one comes in from Liana and she says Chaz I love your podcast thanks for doing them oh double thumbs up I don't think I've ever done that and here here's a question how about a series of poses that will help a competitive volleyball player stay at her peak well Liana that's that's a great suggestion in fact I did an episode of this uh, quite a ways back and I said you know it's time to come back and do an updated version of this so that's what we'll be focusing on today um, poses that are going to be beneficial because I know as a volleyball player you need a lot of core strength, uh, uh, quads, you need balance, you need to work on um, I know your ankles, um, gosh there are so many different things but we'll, we'll talk about that when I go through the class to different areas but core strength, balance and shoulders because of all that you know hitting of the ball. So that's going to be our focus today and even if you do not play volleyball like I said all, say all the time it's still yoga and it's going to be beneficial for all. So Liana, thank you very much for your email. And if you have an idea for an upcoming episode, please send it to me, chaz at yogamazing.com. Of course, you can always find me in Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. All right? So now with all that being said, remember as we go through today's class to breathe, relax, and have fun in this edition of the Yoga Amazing Video Podcast. Okay, what I want to do today is start, instead of going into child's pose, is bringing ourselves into hero's pose, Varasana, because we're going to do several poses here to start with. But also, we can stay here as well and do our breathing exercises. So the good thing about this is it's going to give us a nice quad stretch. But we can also use this as a little time to have some meditation, a little quiet time to, to get us focused for the class. So instead of child's pose again today, we'll start here. So from uh, this position, I want you to take your palms up, close your eyes, and just start breathing deeply in and out through the nose. Remember, you hold the throat. Inhaling deeply, and then as we exhale, we exhale completely back through the throat, through the nose, and make it very audible so you hear the breath. Remember, it goes deep into the core and then expands and then goes out. This is uh, the pranayama breathing, the life force of our asanas, and it, it's also our metronome, our timekeeper, as I say many times. So audible breath so you can hear it, big inhales, big exhales, and just take the first few minutes here of class to just become focused, to allow ourselves to be in the moment and present in our yoga practice. From here, open up your eyes, bring your arms up into the air, interlock your fingers, and take your palms up. Draw the shoulder blades down, draw the navel in, rooting down. Remember, and if it hurts um, on the top of your feet, you can always roll up a little blanket or a towel and put it right here, okay? So you have that to do if you'd like, if it's too much for you. shoulder area. 
and then slowly release. Now interlock behind your back. I want you to roll the heart open. And then uh, from here, I want you to come forward, come to the crown of your head, and then roll on top of the head and bring in the arms up and over. And then slowly release and bring yourself back up to sitting on the heels in Hero's Pose Varasana. And from here, reach back and grab your elbows. And if you're unable to grab your elbows, then by all means, just, you know, interlock your hands, depending on where you are. If you can grab your elbows or even do prayer behind the back. Some people are always asking for advanced postures. So there we go. Let's do prayer behind the back or grab your elbows, whichever one works for you. slowly release bring the arms up good and then release the hands into prayer into the chest stay here for a moment breathe and release from here let's bring ourselves into the cat and cow so shoulders over the rings of the wrist knees are hips width apart and then inhale, look up, shoulder blades down, spread the sits bones. And as you exhale, round, tuck, and squeeze. Inhale, looking up, shoulder blades down, spread the sits bones. And exhale, round, tuck, and squeeze. Inhale, looking up. And exhale. From here, let's bring it into downward facing dog. So, dig your toes into the mat and take it up and back. Bend your knees slightly, push it back. Remember, a lot of times people are kind of doing a push-up pose. You're doing way too much work when you don't need to be doing that. So remember to bend your knees, push it back, draw the navel in, open up your stance, spread your fingers, deepen the breath, hide the heels behind the feet. Don't let your heels kick in, don't let your knees kick in or out. Hide the heels behind the feet, knees are forward and straight. Push it back. Remember, we're not doing this, we're pushing back. Open your body. And a lot of people ask, um, where should I be looking? Well, you should, your head should be neutral with the spine and your eyes should be looking slightly back between the feet. Spread your fingers, distributing more weight into the index fingers and the thumbs. If your wrist hurt, that's a good way to alleviate that, but still distribute the weight evenly. And from here, let's bring the right foot forward into a nice big lunge. Working into the hips. Working into the hips here, so just breathe. And again, let's release and take it back to a down dog. Bring the left foot forward, drop the right knee, and from here, root it in, deepen the breath. And you're, you may not be as open as I am in the hips, so just go where you need to be. But also remember that every time um, you do like a 
hip stretch like this, don't um, go beyond where your, your means are, but also don't allow yourself to constantly go back to the same place. You have to advance your practice, so go little by little. So always challenge yourself, but know how far you should go. And take it back down to mouth. And from here, let's walk both feet forward. And we're just gonna do a hang. So like a rag doll, bend your knees and just hang. Drop your neck. Let your head relax like a grape on a vine. Let your whole body just hang here. And then from here, you want to make sure your feet are together. We're going to bring it into Utkatasana, the fierce pose, or some people call it Thunderbolt or the chair. So we're going to bring it up to here. Okay. So what you're trying to do when you're in this asana, this pose, is you're extending through the fingertips, but you're rooting. So you're trying to sit, stand, sit, stand, sit, stand. You kind of get stuck in the middle, but you want to firmly reach with the fingertips. Draw the shoulder blades down, knees, ankles, big toes touching. Deep in the breath. Very challenging pose. And from here, we're gonna move into a balance because balance is very important for volleyball, for volleyball. And we're gonna bring it into a dancing Shiva. So you get a good side angle pose. You're gonna have your arms like this. Don't let them drop, bring them up. Bend the right knee, bend the left knee, flex the right foot. Deep in the breath. And then come up on top, take a giant step. Come up on your toes, and then you're going to take it down and balance. Up, down, back to here, and bring it back into the chair pose. And again, uh, extend and reach and sit. Lengthen and root at the same time. So your whole body is active. That's the thing that makes this very challenging. It is. You have to breathe deeply and you should be feeling this in your body. Activate. Keep everything alive and breathe deeply. And then bringing it up from here. Balance on the other side. Bend the right knee, bend the left knee, flex the left foot. Arms are here. Don't let your arms drop. Keep your arms up, okay, like a touchdown. See, I'll turn sideways. There you go. And back to the center. Again, one more chair and bring it up. up, bring it into Tadasana, the mountain pose, stay here and breathe. Now from here, we're going to open up our stance, do a few standing asanas. And we're going to be doing a triangle and an extended side angle. So from here, arms up. And remember when you're doing triangle, you want to make sure that you're going to extend and your hips are going to go back. So if you see that, shift back as you extend. So we're not going to do this and just go down and crunch because you want to extend through your, your ribs. You want to get that length extension, okay? So from here, begin hill, reach, lengthen, Take it out, get the extend, get the extension, and then taking it down into a triangle. Now, when you hold on to your leg with your hand, you gaze up. Remember, the hand in the air feel like a balloon's attached to it, and the hand on the leg, don't lay into it like, like your life depends on it. Keep that arm light, keep the arm in the air lighter, 
gaze up. If it hurts, look up, look down. Deepen the breath, remember, don't allow your bottom or your chest to stick in, so we don't want to do this. Tuck it in, as I always say, two sheets of glass. Deepen the breath. And then slowly bring it up. And you're gonna take your, bend your right knee. And then we're gonna go both angles. We're gonna go to the basic or you can go the advanced. So from here, we're gonna do an extended side angle. Arm to the leg, if you'd like, extend with that arm. Or if you, you can stay here, or you can go deeper to fingertips or a flat palm and get the reach a little bit more advanced. Definitely more advanced. Hips need to be open more. But remember, when you're doing this this way, the deeper way, where I am right now, don't allow your bottom to push back. Reach, breathe. And bring it up. Good. You should definitely be feeling that one. I know I do. So everything about yoga is no matter where you are in your practice, uh, beginners or advanced, you always feel it. Your, your body always comes alive. And that's the great thing for everyone to know. And to always realize that yoga will always be alive. It will never be this thing. It's always something powerful within each one of us. So let's do the other side now. A big inhale, get the extension. Remember, hips go back, get that shift. We don't want the bottom, so you have to tuck your bottom under. We want the extension through the arms. Take arm to the leg, gaze up at the arm in the air. Remember, arm in the air, feel like a balloon's attached to it. So look up, deep in the breath. Arm on the leg is light. Arm in the air is light to her. Tuck the bottom under. Spiral the thighs away from each other. Exhale, bend the knee, arm to the leg, and extend with that arm in the air. Stay here, or if you want to go advanced, palm to the floor, and then reach. Tuck your bottom under, gaze up deep in the breath. front of your mountain to Tadasana, the mountain pose. And bring the arms up, get a little back bend, and take it down. Walk it back to a down dog. Now from here, we're gonna be working on some abs. A lot of the times, uh, we'd be doing vote, vote, vote pose, but I really like the way of doing the abs in the down dog pose because it's actually pretty intense and it is a good yoga core workout. Because in volleyball, we, we're gonna need a good strong core. So from here, we're gonna do a down dog and we're gonna take our knee to, to elbow in like an upper push up position. We'll do several of these. So big inhale and as you exhale, right elbow, right knee and hold right here. Squeeze your abs. Down dog. And let's take it to the other side. Hold, squeeze. And go to a down dog. Pretty intense ab work. That's why I like doing these, because it's very, very tough. You can feel it. Now let's do the other side again. Right side, right elbow, right knee. Left elbow, left knee. Squeeze it home. And go to the down dog. That's two, we're doing four complete sets. That's two sets so far. And from here, right elbow, right knee, hold. And down dog. Left elbow, left knee. Down 
down dog. Last one, right elbow, right knee. Down dog. Last one, left elbow, left knee. Hold. And down dog. Core strength and upper body strength. Up to your knees, go to a child's pose, stretch it out. From here, crisscross your legs, and we're going to be doing a table position, tabletop. So from here, we want to have our hands forward. We're gonna uh, form like a, like a tabletop. So from here, we're gonna do this twice. Now the second time, you can do a full back bend or you can do this again. So first one, we're gonna do it this way. So big inhale, and as you exhale, lift up. Okay, form like a tabletop, drop your head back. Let your hips drop, keep the hips up, and release. Now, the second version, you can do exactly what we just did, or you can do a full back bend. On the second one, I'm gonna do a full back bend. People have been asking for some more advanced poses, so I'm gonna give you some options. You can do the basic one, or you can do the full wheel back bend. So now, to do that, do the tabletop again if you'd like, or I'm gonna come up on my toes, for a little bit more advanced for those people, or you can do the tabletop again. So when you do this, this way you wanna bring your fingertips back, pointing towards your shoulders. You don't want your elbows to point out. You wanna keep your elbows and arms straight, don't let them splay. And then big inhale. And as you exhale, either way you're doing it, bring it up, deep in the breath. vertebrae by vertebrae and bring it into recline butterfly legs together squeeze it in big hug rock and roll side to side and then from here arms to a T legs to your right look to the left Roll to the left, look to the right. And bring it back to the center, one more big hug. And then stretch it out on the floor for Shavasana, the resting pose. Arms to your side, palms up. Breathe and relax. Just take these next few minutes to just melt, to let go. Now these, this quiet time could be the most important part of your day. It's, it is the most important, important part of your yoga class, so take advantage and just soak it in, be present, and enjoy the gift of yoga that you've given yourself today. Take the peace and the strength and share it. Namaste.